Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Sahabi from California Dental Group. Uh, what, I, what I like to share with you is what is a tooth abscess or an endodontic abscess. I have a short video that I like to uh, show you some uh, pictures. This is uh, where the tooth abscess or an endodontic abscess uh, starts. Now, if whenever you have pain on biting or tapping your tooth, if you have a bad taste in your mouth, you have pain and swelling of that area and sometimes you may not even have any of these symptoms. Uh, how does the uh, tooth abscess or an endodontic abscess start? If you see there is a, uh, a small decay that is going through the nerve and that leaks the bacteria and infects the, the nerve and starts killing the nerve inside the tooth and that you know, that infection travels down to the root and it goes into the jawbone and starts creating pus and infection in that area. That's when you, when you eat or, you know, when you bite on it, you feel it. Now, this is a, a swelling uh, on the gum uh, that is caused by uh, a tooth abscess. And um, uh, that's, uh, you know, if you press on it, you can feel the pain or when it's infected like that. So uh, cracks usually cause uh, endodontic abscess and uh, two of the common causes of the period uh, endodontic abscesses are decay and cracks. Now this is a demonstration of a, a decay penetrating the nerve and causing infection throughout the nerve and that's, that's usually the common cause of root canal treatment. Now this is another demonstration how uh, a, f a problem fillings uh, sometimes can cause or cracks can cause le uh, you know leakage to the nerve and cause uh, endodontic abscess now this is uh, uh, a very painful situation that needs to uh, uh, be treated right away because it ha it can damage the soft tissue and hard tissue it will damage the bone and it just continued source of infection. Now, once you have that infection, it needs to be, that infection needs to be removed. Otherwise, it just continuously leaks in your body. It just, uh, it's just a drag on your body. Sometimes we have to do some testing. This is a electronic pulp tester to see if the tooth is alive or not. And then uh, we, to get rid of the abscess, we uh, remove the infected tissue. Now before, we used to just remove the whole tooth. You know, long time ago, we just removed the whole tooth to get rid of that abscess. But nowadays, instead of removing the whole tooth, we just remove the infected tissue. Now sometimes, even after we remove the infected tissue uh, in the root, it doesn't go away. So we have to go surgically to uh, to uh, remove the infection from the root. And once we remove the infection, that, uh, you know, that area heals itself and uh, the tooth can be sa saved. So the sooner we catch these problems, the better, because uh, it has a tendency to make uh, life miserable and damage the surrounding tissue. So as soon as you start getting some sensitivities, you know, let your doctor know, uh, let your dentist know, uh, it may be something that can, uh, you know, can, be, can prevent gum abscess or uh, endodontic abscesses. Now, for uh, more educational videos like these, please visit our website. I appreciate your attention. Thank you.